and we are on again. This one's got some weight, boys. I'm not saying he's big, but I think he's big. River Rats, I'm out on the water with Wild Bill and Wes, but we're gonna, well, I'm gonna try to drive the boat. We're also gonna try to catch some shiners and turn those into bigger fish that are gonna become our lunch. So let's go. We'll uh, hopefully get, or hopefully get a bunch of shiners over here and then go pick up somebody's beer cans, apparently. I got a good. What's that? Somebody's little white stick rod holders. Oh yeah, I have 27 of those at home. I don't. There they go. I'm hoping so. I don't want to jinx it though. You gotta make the first throw before you put water in the bucket. Yeah. Are they just too little? Oh, they're so tiny. I don't, almost don't even want to put them in my boat. They're gonna be all over the front deck. Ah, screw it. I'll power wash it later. I have a power washer now. Where's the big dogs? They almost got me. What do we got here? Little crappies? Can't keep you guys, unfortunately. They're right in slack water on the backside of brush, just like they drew it up. You know, one key to shiner fishing is you gotta catch shiners that are bigger than that. Well, there's a bunch of little ones still. Come on, give me some decent. Oh, I see one decent one kicking in there. Oh, oh yeah, it's a shiner. He'll do. Will's getting his feet wet already. What a guy. We got two. Oh, we're winning now. Yep. They're not even good ones. They're just okay. Hop in, gents. We're moving. Oh, I just had a shiner hop into my crock. All right, where that seam, that little point. Slew of stuff over there, huh? I'm calling it. Oh. Oh yeah, those are good ones. You gotta get these glass sunglasses. I do. Should probably shut that trolling motor off. Uh, yep. The right right variety size too. It'd be a lot cooler if I could just throw an eight footer and be done. So, when are we going to start catching them? Does it normally take this long? <laughs> oh, there they are. Oh, right on top of wood. Did you not see the log? No, I just no, was looking at the shiners. I can deal with nice. them. Nice, nice. Yep. You said you're just standing around doing nothing. I give you a job. <laughs> Get the minners. Those are good ones. There's some good ones. Oh no. Saved him. I'm I'm proud of you. See them. Oh, you got some oh, good got stuff there. Got yeah. Some shads. Definitely some shiners. And a quill bag. Oh, that's a yeah. That's a what do we got? A dozen and a half. All right, let's go look in a different spot.
Did I remember that leader? We might be putting 60 pound on the little spinning rods. Oh, well, at least it ain't 50 though, right? What do we got? Yeah. Seagull. That's our boy. Here, you want a job? Start chopping and retying knots. You got scissors right there. Hey, I'm on the water bed. I accidentally got a chunk of cut bait in one of my tackle boxes. It was not good. It smelled like everything you'd imagine. You get one rig, grab another one. Just gonna do Carolina rigs for the shiners. The fun thing about the shiners. That's all you wanted, right? Yep, and then I'll put a sinker slide on there. You want to take that off? No, you can leave that on. Oh, you want it off? That thing? Yeah, that's what we're wanting. And I just redid that knot. So here's a leader for you to tie on. It'll be sad if we can't catch anything on shiners. I do everything right and I still have problems sometimes. That's good. That's good. Wind from the west, they bite the best, boys. It rhymes, so it has to be true. Allegedly. Three of them are ready. Just waiting on Wes, like normal. Here's your, here's your sinker. Get some of them shiners. They still look happy. That's good. Wouldn't you be? No, I would not. I'm gonna be on YouTube. If you would have shoved me in a bucket, if you would have shoved me in a bucket, I'd be pretty irate. If we're, <laughs> we're talking about that. Kind of claustrophobic. You know what's weird is I've never used to be scared of heights, and then I got older, and I'm scared of heights. I'm scared of heights, but I but I've always been scared of heights. Heights and small spaces and a little bit spiders. I'm happy how we're kind of pretty much holding straight. Yeah, it's not too shabby. I don't know why I'm so anti-net. Quilly Nelson. I like it. It's got a good ring to it. You know what else has a good ring to it? Drag. Yeah, that would be nice too. Something's going to hit. Yeah, we'll bounce around. And if it don't work, ooh, that one got whacked a little bit. Me? Just little, little guys. Could be a little white bass, too. That was quick. I like it when it's quick. Channel cat or hybrid? I don't know. He seems awful fast for a channel. We're gonna find out. Got the net. Hybrid. Hybrid. Yeah, it is. Ooh, that's what I was waiting for. You got all these rods conveniently in your way. Yeah. There, that's what I like to hear. He's so feisty. That's what they do, man. You got the flathead net. <laughs> I hope it's big enough. We saw one net. Oh, he's hooked. I can't tell. He's probably swallowed it. Probably be eating him. That's right. I'll take Tacos? a picture with him. Yeah, he'll make a fine taco. I'll take a picture. All right, steer him to the right side. <laughs> yeah, it's the flathead net. My camera just died, but that's what we were fishing for right there. He's a dandy, bud. That's a nice one. I've never caught one like that. Wiper tacos, I guess. I guess. Like it's a bad <laughs> No teeth on this guy? No. Say something really cool. First wife or... <laughs> You're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Wasn't that cool? Put up a heck of a fight. They do that. That's what I mean. I, I would too if I was getting turned into a taco. That's fair. <laughs> nice. Nice fish, man. I'm gonna release him in a cooler and then eventually grease. Look at that. Look at that. You can stand on the fighting deck if you want. He ran clear out to the side. That was the promenade deck. Here, I'll get these rods out your way. Go. You're gonna have to go under. That was. These guys have a good fight. Oh yeah. Man, what a good fish. Like I said, they're part saltwater, so you should know. You should understand. 
Oh yeah, another nice one. Get a wild bill. Wiper Bill now. Wiper Bill. <laughs> Wiper Bill. Wiper Bill Hernandez. And another tank. It is. Yeah, that's a dandy, bud. Got a sailfish. He might even be. Woo! That's a good one. We're gonna have another one too. Look at that. Yeah, that's, look at that guy, man. You might have to just reel down and and pull back. Yeah, he's he ain't he's close to ten. A little closer. A little closer. That's so heavy. Oh, oh he came out of it. Oh no. He didn't. You earned that. You worked hard for that line and now it's gone. Not the most ideal wiper net, but here we are. Cool. Dude, that's a big one. Yes, it is. Oh, got grip. Teeth, oh, right? dude, he's a stud. Dude, look at that guy. No teeth, you said? No. No, but they'll just beat the hell out. Like, everything's sharp. There's their gill plates, their, oh, their spines. It looks like a snapper. Yeah. I just grip them most of the time. And then where's that hook at? You spit it out already? Yeah. Oh, perfect. What a guy. Yeah. That's a good one, Will. There you go. Here, stand back there and get you on video. They're pretty sensitive critters, so like we got to get them in the water quick. But yeah, man, that's dandy. Turn them sideways for... There you go. Yeah, you're going to have to revive them for a minute. See ya. Oh yeah. Sweet. Cool man. This guy's got some serious fight. Oh yeah, That's especially cool. in that current, dude. I mean I had it like right on top of the boiler. Oh. Oh, I got one. <laughs> oh, he's not bad. How long's he been on there? Well you saw it bounce, I just figured it was the bait. That's fine. Gosh, they're so fast. If it's got stripes, I like to catch it. <laughs> he hit it and just ran all the way up. I got him. He's, he, he might be pooping it right now. Well, we're gonna have plenty of food. Guys are good eating too, huh? They're they're okay. Yeah. They're not like amazing, but we'll, we'll get him in the cooler. Yep. For you. Or I'll, I'll throw him on the floor. You mainly move him. This went kind of chaotic, kind of fast. Easily my second favorite freshwater fish. Um, not a sandwich. Might take just a packet. Do you want to throw some cheese in it? It's not bad luck to eat prepackaged fish while you're fishing. I've never heard that before. Is that like bananas on the boat? I think you just made that up. I think I did just yeah. make that. Oh yeah, good call on the tour. I figured that'd be a good boat meal. It's solid. All right. It's gonna hit. Think so? It's gonna hit. And we are on again. This one's got some weight, boys. I'm not saying he's big, but I think he's big. Well, he's got some hips. Yes. Ooh. Oh my. Yeah, he's about to be here. Ready? Oh. <laughs> They're so fast. He's about to come up. Ready? Well, never mind. Changed his mind. Yep. Last minute. He's not a 20, but he's pretty nice. Yeah, he, he's decent. 
He said, I don't like your net. Get out of here, bud. Or the Probably going to have to go upstream and scoop them. The Iowa equivalent of oop. Yes. Nice. He's thick. Yeah. He gobbled him up, no problem. Shiners. Tough to beat a shiner. That's that's a beefcake, bud. Where's, where's that hook at? He's like, I'm not gonna be easy because I'm a hybrid striper. It's so getting out of hand, gentlemen. Dandy wipers abound. Um, I don't know. Tough to beat the live bait, bait bite. Can't even talk. Ow. We're gonna try to let him go. Right. Hey, that's gonna be a long topic. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I bet he swims off. Feel the strength returning. It's crazy the stuff these fish live in, man. Oh, there he goes. That's what I like to see. He's on there. Pick it up and just reel down on him. Oh, there he is. Yep, that's what I thought. He might have popped off. Yeah, he did. He picked it up and ran clear at the boat. You know what that means. Taco time. Taco time. Taco time. Taco Wednesday. Taco do, we, Wednesday. do we have tortillas, though? I don't. I don't. I got bread. Don't look at me. I'm Mexican, but I don't travel with it. <laughs> <laughs> Sand Oh. We're in 1.4 feet of water. I think we'll still make it. One and a half. I'm looking at our sandbar oasis up there. Hang on, land ho. That will work. Nice mucky paradise. Fish is cleaned. I feel like I'm walking on another planet when I walk on a sandbar in the middle of the day. It doesn't feel like you're in a city over here. No. It doesn't even feel like you're on Earth, hardly. I kind of want to sit on that log. Sit on that log for a foot over there? Or just to cool down. Right. I don't know, it might be too deep. Things tend to drop off next to logs. Oh, yeah. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Environment. I do feel at home right here. I do want to sit on that log as well. It's very inviting, right? It is. It's nice. Yes, this is perfect. This followed up with a little fried fish. Oh well, hell yeah. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, it was a nap. I will resume sitting on that log again at some point in time. I think that's gonna be the perfect amount for three dudes too. You want all this in here first? Yep. Pour all the juice and everything? Nope. That's why you move it so you don't get the juice. The trick is you got to make them look dry. If they look wet, they're not going to be quite as good. I don't know, you think we need more? Oh yeah, we need more. We'll just kill the bag. Oh, that looks tasty already. It's going to be. I don't make promises I can't keep. Oh, oh no. what oh, happened? No. The bag just opened. <laughs> These two are good. Yeah, they'll be fine. That one will be fine too. Oh, I forgot I didn't clean this. There were steaks cooked in this. No way. You can use the old sand soap. That's relatively clean. That's clean enough. Yeah. Well, that's still pretty gross. Will bring in that technology. Well, fellas, back in 76, we used to find some good gold around here, you know? 
Me and old Skeeter come around here and whoo, find a nugget or two before we went back home. I'd take a couple of them. Good enough for you? It's pretty clean, man. It's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. Fire might be a little tall. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, that's why I just threw her on there. Some water evaporated pretty close. I hear stuff popping. Not quite there. Gonna need more fuel. Oh, you guys got more fuel. We'll put one in there. It's sizzling. Sizzling. Kind of sadly sizzling, but but that's progress. Nice thing about a day like today, you don't have to worry about the fillets robbing heat. Oh, those are perfect. All that oil is hot. You guys are doing good work. I think it's gonna be good. We're all halfway through. I feel like we're not gonna have enough room in the pan. Might have to eat them on the way. Might have to start eating. Just, just throwing that out there, you know. Tell me twice. Okay. Grab one, man. And? Hot. Aside from being hot. <laughs> Tolerable. Delicious. Like you might eat another one. I'll try one. I'll book another trip. With you. Okay, good. Ooh, I'll book another trip with me too. <laughs> yeah, those are right up town. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know, man. A lot of crisp there. Tell you what, standing here in the water, in the shade, it's pretty awesome. Doing great, Will. Is that the last round? Last round. Sweet. Don't worry about that guy. That little guy? Don't, guy. don't apologize for the extra crispy one. <laughs> Unless you eat it before I do, no, then no. you can apologize. That guy, don't worry. Will's a dentist slash fry chef. You know, I do love me some fried foods. I do this with trout all the time. Well, that was a fun little day on the water. We got lunch. We got good time I don't know what else we could ask for so we're going to stop fishing here and go fishing somewhere else hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button I'm gonna quit stuttering maybe uh, and I hope you catch a giant <laughs>